Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial. And this time we're gonna do animated tiles. And what you're just in seeing in front of you are animated tiles. Well, almost. There's some quirks with that. I will tell you how to set it up very, very fast in a few minutes. So if you want to know that, stay tuned. This is One Up Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the good stuff here. So what you're seeing, that waterfall is an animated tile, that water here which is just looking clunky as hell is animated water and it just looks that clunky this one and this one because we have a little problem. Now we're just going into detail what I mean by that and that which is just looking butter smooth, is an asset. It's not an um, tile. So these ones are tiles, as you can see, it's called, I call it just my tile uh, layer animate. So these ones are here. And for example, if you want to check out how they look like, you just go and press that little play animation rectangle on the top right corner. Bam, and you can see. So how is all that stuff set up? I just call my sprite, well, um, SPR water. But it's basically just animation and here we have our little um, well, water now uh, the lava fall and here our water and the problem with this one here and i can show you that is that that thing consists of three pieces one two and three and that one as well and here we get into our first problem which isn't good at all and i don't understand why your -Yo games does that but i guess it makes sense for them so once we have our sprite we do our tile set here set it up as 16 by 16 as you can see bam and then we have this tile animation tab you just click on that and here we can put in some animations which is pretty sweet but we encounter our first problem why because when for example you go add animation then you need the number of frames you want to put in and then you're like 2, 4, 8, 16 damn if you have an uneven number you're pretty much out of luck here and that's why the animation looked so choppy for example we just go alright then go for 4 and let's say for example we just click on the first one and the second and the third and then 1 is still free and we go on the first one as well and then it looks a little bit choppy and for example if you go to the room and put that in bam 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 and we animate it then as you can see it looks a little bit choppy because it has the first image twice which doesn't look too good in my opinion and this is where well this is kind of well, pointless for example, if you're having like the um, animations of let's say three sprites or five or something like that, because well, you cannot represent it correctly, which is just a shame because that is a pretty sweet tool. And then, of course, you can put in multiple ones. For example, here we just go for four, I don't know, eight, and then we just go one, two, do, 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 do. just put them in here. Sweet, why not? And then, of course, we are locked to what. Well, one frame per second on a uh, one uh, global frame set which we use for an, uh, our animation on that specific layer so this is being locked and then uh, th that's why this is of course limited as well and for example if you just animate uh, as you can see everything is animated which is on the animated part so the stuff we just well, well assigned to be part of the animation for example these Four, eight ones and these ones are not animated so basically you just can put and use your um, tile set and then stuff which is not animated will not animate because it's a regular tile and the other ones will flip through different animation phases which is kind of okay so how can we well circumvent this problem while well, we just use an asset layer that is basically what I did I just take my sprite just lava and then put it on my asset layer and BAM this is how we can circumvent it. This is a shame because that's actually a pretty sweet solution as well. So this is the problem here. You can use it, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. 
Have a good one. One up Indy.